Hello Model Railroaders, uh, John back with the Gorge layout. Um, you can probably see I've been busy and I did something I wasn't going to do. I put in a back section and I, you can see these are just little plugs. I just make these little pieces. I can lift them out. They sit on the little pedestals. Uh, they're not glued. Eventually sometime they might be, but they're just going to be so lightly glued. So in case I ever want to change it, maybe someday I'd want to put buildings back there. I don't know. But for now, just to fill the area up. Uh, this one here is about four, well, it's 52 inches long, this piece here. Um, and of course, I landscaped it using all my sawdust products. I'm going to kind of zoom in here quick just so you can see what I got. It looks really nice. There's three colors on there I use. And then I use some of that leftover um, Scenic Express uh, coarse stuff that I sifted and separated the scrub brush. Um, anyways, then what I did was this back corner, um, that back corner is actually from my old layout. I cut it off the board, the old layout, because I saved the pieces. I still have the whole section of this back piece. And I cut that piece off and I used it. I just put it in there. And again, that's sitting on pedestals as well. Um, I'm going to plaster it in eventually. Right now it's just butted up to the edge of the track. Um, it's got a little tiny bit of an overlap uh, from when I plaster cloths under the track, which is fine. So I will, that's where I will connect it. And the same thing right here. This stuff just, it, all I have to do if I ever want to plaster it in is I can just go right over it. Uh, with some plaster cloth, but I will probably just overlap it and not really stick it down and then I'll just lightly landscape over the top of it. This is primarily, uh, this hill is primarily the style of landscaping I'm going to do on the rest of the layout back here as I go around. This weekend I'm going to finish this big huge area back here. It's going to be, the hill's going to be monumentally taller compared to this one. It'll probably be at least two, three inches higher. It's much deeper, too. It's probably a good foot deeper. Uh, this one here is 10 inches on this end, and on the other end down here, it's probably about five inches down here and spreads out to six as the curve comes around. So, so well, what it did do is when I put the trees in, all of a sudden I thought, boy, it makes the rest of the layout look kind of boring. I know I wasn't going to landscape anything, but now that I've gotten to a stage where I got about, oh, I got about now 13, 14 feet of this thing structurally set up the way I like it, I am going to probably start doing some landscaping on some of this just to give it a nice look. So when people do come in here, uh, my neighbor was just in here the other day and he says, uh, just it's all tan. So I decided that's what kind of what made me decide to do some of this. You can landscape as you go if you want to. Um, I, what I usually do is if, if I'm going to do it like where I put the trees in, the trees, believe it or not, are all strategically placed. Uh, they have a reason why they are where they are. Um, and what I do is when I landscape, I pull them out and I put toothpicks in there like I showed in one of my older, older videos. And of course, I'll take a picture so I make sure I get the tree in the same spot. So it's pretty easy to do. I could actually landscape this whole thing to be like that I could landscape this thing all the way down in probably oh maybe an hour hour and a half something like that so it doesn't really take a lot it's basically just sprinkling on uh, putting glue on and sprinkling different colors on and shades um, and blending it you know to make it look a little bit realistic this pr may not look so great on the camera I'm going to kind of zoom in let's see here Let's see if I get that. Yeah, but it really looks good in this room right now. It's it's a good natural look. My wife looked at it and she says it's just like looking at the side of a mountain. It looks that good. So I like it. Anyways, that's what I'm going to do all the way around. And I'm going to show you now what I did. I, I put a lot more trees in, filled up a lot of area with trees. Um, and like I say, uh, some of this stuff, these I still got a landscape underneath a lot of this. And a lot of what you're going to see too is not just the ground cover. It's a lot of the clump weeds and bushes and stuff like that. That's the stuff I will probably hold off a little bit on, uh, even on this side for a while until I 
kind of really settle down to exactly what I'm going to use for colors. I usually use uh, spring greens and medium greens, um, but I think I might throw in some uh, medium summer greens uh, that are a little darker to match the pine trees. Maybe we'll see. Anyways, I just wanted you guys to see what I'd been working on, and this does this didn't take me long. I've got I measured it out. It looks like it's about 13 and a half feet that I've got done um, with the structurally sound hills and with everything the way I like it. So I'm going to slide this over so you can see this. Excuse me for the vibration here. Of course, this is my favorite view of the whole thing, typically. Um, this looks really nice. And I'm, I'm going to, I got to do a lot more. The landscaping is going to really improve this a ton to make this thing look good, all of this stuff in here and everything like that. So it, it will be much better. And I got to, down here, I'm going to put, I'm going to probably put some ponds in here and things like that. I actually got them made. I just have to put them in. So um, I just want you to see kind of what I got. This kind of looks pretty nice. I'm kind of going closer here so you can see it. I think that area, once it gets landscaped, is going to look really, really nice. I am someone that does use kind of just a, I go light on landscaping. I'm not somebody who goes really crazy heavy um, on clumps, clump uh, scenic scenery. Um, I, I kind of like certain light colors and things like that. Um, it's just to me, it just to me looks much better to do it that way, but that's just me, you know, and I look at some of these model railroads on the internet and I, they make me jealous. I wish I could do what some of them guys do. Um, maybe I could if I practiced a little more, but this is kind of an art, you know, getting it the way you want it to be, you know, it's just takes time, you know, coming up with your style of how, how you like it. Um, these trees scattered about like this. In their little patches. I, I like that. I know maybe in the real world it's probably not that way, but this is kind of how I like to do it. Um, and I'm going to, I, I've got a lot more trees to put in here, uh, but I'm going to save a bunch till I start working on the other side um, just to make sure I don't run out, but I do have to make a lot more trees. I mean a lot. In the back there, there's quite a few trees over there that I, they were all the ones that were on my back hill on my last layout. They were on the hill that was just after the lift out bridge. That's where most of those came from. And all these other little trees, a lot of these were just the ones that were just scattered about in little patches. Many of them were the ones by the um, mine where I used to have it sitting. So um, I am also, just another note, I, st I have to replace this, all this lower track down here I am going to do that, and I was actually intending that originally, uh, but I, I don't know how soon that's going to happen. I do want to put in a pretty heavy series of uh, um, extra track for the trains to park uh, over here. Um, I want at least four lanes of uh, track in there, you know, so I can store cars. And then I also decided something else I'm going to do when I replace this track down the lower level I decided I am for sure going to um, take the um, bridge and I'm going to make it a double bridge and put a switch down here. I'm going to actually bring the risers back so it stays level. I'm going to put a switch there going through the double bridge and coming all the way around here. I'm going to have two more um, siding tracks so I can have quite a significant amount of cars parked on it. So I can change out trains a lot easier. Um, I think it's going to be a lot nicer. And I wasn't originally going to do that, but I look at all the trains I got. It is really a pain in the butt. I'm sure you guys know to keep switching things out. It, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. It's just easier to leave, you know, 20 cars in a lineup all set up, ready to go when you want to switch out. So, but that's kind of my plans. And I just, like I said, I wanted you guys to see what I was working on. Kind of move around here quick it's a nice tall hill it's it, it it's about six inches above the track this hill back here i don't know if you can kind of see you can probably see just right under this tree here the stick in between there how high the hill is 
it actually, if you drag it over, it's almost the same height as this, but there's a big dip right in between here. It goes up the hill, then way down, then starts going sloping back up to that hill. So, and like I say, both those pieces are just lift outs. They literally weigh about, I don't even think they weigh a pound. I'd have to say about 10, 12 ounces or something like that. But this one here, I'm going to start on this next. Um, I did pick up a little bit of uh, um, plaster cloth, but I probably don't, I don't know if I'll have enough to do all this. Uh, I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to go almost right to where the bridge is, but I can't go too close because I have to modify that for using a double track. So this is about a, I would have to say another five foot curve, but it's really deep back there. I have to build it off the track because I can't reach back there to even put landscaping on it. I'd have to have some kind of a really tall ladder and be leaning way over. That's about that's about four and a half feet in to that back corner from where I'm standing. So it's a ways back. And the track is at least a foot, maybe 16 inches uh, further away from the wall, or closer to me from the wall. And then from the track to here, uh, the edge of the layout is probably about another two and a half feet, no, about two feet. So it's quite a ways. So anyways, I'm just kind of showing you what I'm working on. And that's uh, my update for several days. I probably won't have another one until at least uh, later in the weekend. Again, it'll look significantly different, the back part of this. I do seem to be going kind of fast, but uh, it's just... Right now, I've got the time to work on some of this stuff. So, and we really make a lot of headway, and a lot of a uh, lot of it looks finished when you put these little um, scenery plugs in, like I did. And like I say, they're just sitting there. So, and anyone could do it. It's the easiest way to do it. I will never ever mount anything permanent again. I like it so I could take it out if I ever decide I want to rip this thing apart. I can do that. So, pretty easy. So there you go. That's what I got going today. Thanks for watching, guys.